Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing 50 bucket list, summer bucket list ideas slash like things to do in the summer because summer is finally here. Amen. Because I was tired of school. But um, let's get straight into it. First, we have watching the sunset. Cool little vibe, go to the lake or something. You know, it's chill. And also with that, number two, watching the sunrise, of course. Because that's a vibe too, like just seeing the sunset or watching the sunset rise, or whatever. It's cool, it's coming. I really do like watching, like going out to the lake. This is a specific spot that I'm gonna gatekeep forever in my life. Um, That is so nice to watch the sunset, and, like it's so nice. Okay, next we got camping inside the house. That's a cool little fun little vibe you can do with your friends. Y'all can like build a tent inside, have a little fire, whatever, make s'mores inside. Like it could be a cool inside vibe instead of having to be outside, but still have that little intimate type, you know? Number four, we have a picnic. You know, you go out to the park with your friends. She get the sandwiches, you get the juice, whatever. Like it could be a cool little calm vibe, especially in the summer. It's nice outside. It's cool. The grass is green. Like yes. Um, the fifth one we have is make a visit video. I want to do this because it seems fun. Like going to the grocery store, make a music video or something with any song I want to do. If you're not posting or whatever, that'd be a cool calm vibe. Next we have go to a fast food restaurant, dress fancy. I feel like that's just like kind of fun. Like it's kind of cool. Like you getting ready and all that stuff just to go to McDonald's. But it's like, it's still a vibe. You know, you can come in a nice, cute little dress or if you're a boy and you're in tux or whatever, like, yeah. And then next we have, have a felt day. Like you can do it like with a whole bunch of people, a group of friends or whatever. And y'all could do like tug of war and different field, game, field day games. Or y'all could do like a bounce house and stuff, have it there. Like just, you know, have a fun time. Water guns, water balloons and have a cute little field day. I could even do like teams and go against each other and stuff. That would be like fun. So next, this is kind of like more for like Texas people, but just go to Bucky's, especially if you don't live around a Bucky's. Like I don't live around a Bucky's, but going to Bucky's is fun. Like if you go on a road trip, you know you got to stop at Bucky's. Like that's literally a must. So one day you and your friends just, hey, let's go to Bucky's. If you don't live by Bucky's. If you live by Bucky's, like it's another thing. But you know, but if y'all have like gas in like other states or stuff or like something like that, y'all could just randomly just go, just to go. And then next we have uh, making a point system. Like me and my friends, we made like a little point system where it's like, oh, if you do this, you get like five points if you do that. Like one of them is if you um, take a picture with a stranger, you get five points. So like y'all could do that for the whole summer and then like whoever gets the most points wins. Y'all could like make it a prize at the end or something. But I think like it's like plus 20 if you have a sleepover or if you like, it's just different things you can make different points um go to a party that's plus 20 points or if you do this and that so like this could be a cool vibe you and your friends could like make and do for each other and it's just like something fun and just it just to keep summer more interesting number 10 this has been very big on tiktok and that is making slime like go ahead buy the ingredients glue and all that it makes some slime it's cool i never made slime because my mom never let me like I was always trying to make them DIYs, how to make slime without glue, and it never worked. But yeah, just make some slime, fluffy slime, butter slime, all that. It's on the raid right now, like, it's really big right now, so. Or you could order it too if you want to do that. And just have some fun. And then going to the zoo. The zoo is nice, it's fun. If you want to go on a date to the zoo, that's a cute little date idea, also. Like, especially like the zoo over here at Fort Zoo, it's really nice, it's really big, and it has like all the animals. And it's a cool, nice vibe, so. I do recommend just going to the zoo. And then number 12, redecorate your room. Like, you have plenty of time on your hands. So if you want to redecorate it, if you want to do a different type of style, like that's what I'm in the middle of doing right now. I kind of got it, but at the same time, I still got to do some more stuff. Like, I got to build my shelf. I've been having my shelf for a minute, and yeah. But like, yeah. If you want to make a new aesthetic or whatever, Redecorated room, it's a cool time. Number 13, have a movie night. And you can make it like a real movie night, like 
have the popcorn boxes and like have the movie candy and then like do ices and, like actually have like a cool movie night you can do it like on a projector and invite your friends you can make little tickets you can make it like a whole thing like with any of these you can really make it like a whole thing just like a oh, movie night whatever but like it can really be something you know what i'm saying number 14 going to hike i really want to do this this summer because like i go on the trails but like i want to go on like a hike where it's like the dirt trails that's a cool vibe it's like a little side quest a little adventure make sure you have a backpack your granola bars and water and get to hiking and then number 15 go to a pool party you know it's gonna be a lot of those this summer oh these it's gonna be a lot of those this summer and yeah i mean nine times out of ten like i'm getting the pool because <laughs> that's what happens half the time especially at, you know these parties like i went to a party last year 90 percent of people did not jump in the pool actually people had on full blown fits next to the pool like what are you doing this is a pool party let's you know but yeah go to a pool party and then with like pools and stuff, number 16, right? Yeah, number 16, go for a night swim, like go swimming in the nighttime. That's a different type of vibe. Get some glow sticks, put it in there, have a little glow party or something. You know what I'm saying? Like that could be a cool little vibe. I said vibe like a lot in this video, like dang, everything a vibe. I mean, everything is a vibe, okay? Have a spa day, go get your nails done, go get your toes done, go get a massage you know just relax chill like you deserve it so that's a cool little day to have go on a roller coaster like where i live six flags is near so going to six flags is a cool time going on the titan and all that stuff so if you have like a six flags or like a amusement park near you go ahead and go to that with some friends it's always a good time Especially if they scared, like, it's be so funny when people be screaming on the rides. Me personally, I love roller coasters and I like heights, so I don't be getting scared, but when my friends be getting scared, I be laughing. So yeah, just go to Six Flags or something. And just go to a concert. A lot of people are, like, a lot, a lot, like, a crazy amount of people are touring this summer. So there's plenty of concerts you can go to, especially, and like, I know it's like, it might cost a lot, but some of these prices are really, like, low. Especially if you buy them, like, months early then you should really go and get some good ticket prices, especially with every, like, I would tell you, so many people are going on a tour. Like, a lot of people's coming here, and I'm like, wow, which concert should I go to? Because it's so many people, but I already got the one I'm going to. But yeah, it's a lot of concerts I could go to, especially this summer, because a lot of people are touring this summer, and a lot of festivals are going on this summer, too, also. So you should look into that, see what kind of festival you could go to or if you want to go to concerts where wherever it is and then go golfing let's go golfing like yes mini golf uh putt putt top golf um if you got like got, go to the country club i guess you could go golfing there i don't know i never actually been real golfing only went like top golf or putt putt or something but you know if you like golfing go golfing it's just be a cool little time or going to top golf i like top golf it's cool it low key reminds me of bowling but like golfing but yeah, I like top golf, so just going golfing is cool. Pull an all-nighter. I mean, it's summertime. Like, you ain't got you ain't got to go to school in the morning. Maybe you got work in the morning, but for real, like after work, or like you know, what? Just one day you could you know pull an all-nighter. Twenty two, we have read books. That's one of my goals this year was to read some more books. So I plan on like getting into more books. But you know, it's summertime. A book won't hurt. Some y'all need a book. Not gonna lie, I'm just saying. But um, yeah, and like whatever type of genres you're into, just get some new books and just explore or even find a new genre you like or whatever. 23, have a cooking contest. So like you and your friends, y'all cook like the same dish or I could eat different dishes. Like, oh, the theme is dinner or lunch or something, breakfast, whatever you want it to be. And then y'all all cook it and then like have like one of the parents try it or something like the siblings and stuff and see whoever cooked the best. I feel like that's a fun, cool time. Like it just, and you're cooking, you get to eat too, like, you know? 24, tour some colleges. Like, me, I'm an upcoming senior, so that's something I do want to do is tour some colleges. So, like, especially in the summer, you have time to actually, like, go out, go to different colleges, and see, like, what they're about, and see if you actually want to go there, instead of, like, having school, and, like, interfering with things. So, I feel like that's a good idea. So, like, if you want to go, if there was, like, a specific college you want to go to, it's a perfect time to do that, like, during summer, because you're free. 25 making smoothie bowls so smoothie bowls are good like wait it's just good and it's like it gives summer vibes it gives summer like smoothies give summer smoothie bowls they give summer number 26 have a road trip 
go on a little road trip. It don't have to be far. It can be like an hour away. Like their city is an hour away. They have cool, you know, cool little vibes. So just go on a road trip with your friends or go with your family or whatever. I know a lot of people go on road trips during the summer. So it could be something you can do. Seven, go zip lining. Y'all, I'm going to do that this week. And I'm going to do a vlog too. So it's going to come out like the next week or whatever. But yeah, zip lining is fun. Especially if you're like not afraid of heights and stuff. Even if you are afraid of heights, like I feel like you could overcome it for zip lining. Like zip lining. It just seems so fun and I can't wait until I go. So look out for that vlog. 28, hold on y'all, number 28. Just go to a regular party, like not a pool party, but like just a cool little calm little party. I mean, when I go to parties, I don't be doing much, but you know, it's still a cool vibe. Or go to a function, go to a kickback, just explore, go out of your comfort zone, meet new people, make new friends. Number 29, explore a new town with the road trip. We can do that. Explore a new town, go to the downtown area, find a little, oh, they're cute little ice cream shops they have there, mom and pop shops they have specifically to that town. Like, it could be different, you know, just get out of your city because you know what you have in your city. So, like, going to a different city is like different. I mean, obviously, but you know, you know what I'm saying? At 30, you have an ox battle. You and your friends get in the car and battle of the ox like and see whoever got the best playlist like or i could do whoever got the best artist like genre like r&b artist rap rapper or whatever like just have a little ox battle that's you know how they be having on them, them streams and stuff yeah 31 have a photo shoot you and your friend get cute you go take some instagram photos look nice have a time and i could y'all can make a day within that and just take your instagram photos like 32 find a waterfall I mean, this sounds random, but like, low-key, I want to do this because like, where am I going to find a waterfall over there in Texas? I mean, I think there is some, but I just got to look. But see, like, just a little adventure, a little side quest you could go on. Day three, make friendship bracelets. I really like this. I want to do this for sure. Like, you can go to like Michael's or like Joanne's, get the little chains and get the little charms and make friendship bracelets. Or you could just do it with the beads and like have the little letters and stuff. Like, so many ways you could do friendship race. Before I have a game night, I really do like this idea. I did this for Christmas, like around Christmas time I had a game night and it was like y'all came in pajamas. Then like I had like Taboo, Uno, and they had like wings and stuff. And it was a cool little fun time. Like I really enjoyed it. Like we made TikToks, all that. So just having like a cool summer game night, I feel like a lot of people enjoy that. And it's like, you're not on your phones or nothing. You're like interacting with each other and you're just having fun. Like you're in the moment. I think I might do a game night for summer too just thinking about it because it's like it's a fun cool time just to enjoy with your friends and have fun number 35 go to a baseball game over here we got the Texas Rangers and I've been trying to go to a baseball game and the ticket prices are not bad or so they're worth they're like $30 it's really not that bad so like whatever in your city whatever whoever's the baseball I'm not gonna lie I don't know a lot about baseball but it's still a good time like to go to a baseball game and just be I love like the environment of games like going to a basketball game going to a football game baseball game i just love the environment of games so go dress up in your team and go watch a baseball game 36 go to a driving movie i've been in driving movie in a while but it's such a good time and i think like they're low-key underrated like everybody just go to the regular movies and not even go to the regular movies a lot of people just go watch it on their phone like the streaming services but the driving movie is cool and like you can like decorate your trunk have little blankets and stuff have snacks and then it's like a good like environment it's a cool vibe 37 go to a water park over here we got hurricane harbor and stuff so just hawaiian falls and nrh2o like there's so many water parks so just go to your local water park go around the water slides and have fun with your friends but 38 we have going to the farmer's market um, I love the farmer's market. You can get some fresh stuff, especially going in the morning. Just waking up early in the morning and just going is fine. And like the one in Dallas is really nice. It's just one place I go to. This one food place is so good. Like the food is so good. Y'all don't understand. It's so good. So just find like your local farmer's market or go to a different city and go to their farmer's market because that's what I do. So it's just a cool time and you never know what you're going to find there for real, for real. And it's like different stuff and it's really good stuff too have um a splat gun war like water gun war like over here a lot of people have splat guns so they be having all types of stuff so just you and your friends y'all could literally just have like a splat gun war and i feel like they're making a comeback also because i remember they're like big like 2022 and stuff but like i feel like they're making a comeback and if not just do water guns because you know it's hot and it's just you know have a water gun one or a splat gun 
where like y'all do teams or whatever and y'all could do like lucky like senior assassin or you gotta have a different person to shoot or whatever you could do that with the water guns or like spy 40. this is lucky with the cooking contest have a baking contest y'all all make like the same type of cake whoever got the best cake or like brownies or cookies you know good time with friends number 41 Ooh, number 41 get a summer job you know get that money get that money on because you know how you gonna be doing all these activities without the money on so you gotta do some job you know what i'm saying and you can have fun at the summer job like work at a snow cone place or urban air or something like you can literally have fun with the summer job and just get money too while you're working and having fun so looking for a summer job that's a good idea 42 go thrifting thrifting is always cool you've always find all types of stuff like i actually do need to go thrifting soon because that's where i got like some of my jeans that's where i get a lot of my jean shorts from like, for summer and stuff it's literally just thrifting and you're saving coin and you could go with your friends if you wanted to like just go on your own it's something you could do on your own also like you're literally and there's so many things you can find well it just depends because the thrift stores i don't know because y'all on tiktok y'all be like oh i found this is that and when i go i only find one thing so it just really depends on how you look and stuff so and then like you can go to the goodwill bins also but like you gotta be prepared for those make sure you bring gloves and stuff because yeah but yeah their thing's always a fun time 43 get hannah i have lucky one to do this like i want to get like my whole arm with henna on it just seems it's just so pretty to me then like if you really wanted to you could do henna on your own me personally i can't because i don't know my handwriter already bad y'all think i could concentrate on that like no but yeah if you want to do it on your own you could do that or you could just go get henna 44 you and your friends just go out get dressed and have a nice fancy dinner there's like different restaurants you can go to just look up on tiktok tiktok be having everything find a nice restaurant get dressed up and go out to eat with your friends 45 shoot fireworks i mean you know fourth of july and things like that but even i don't fourth of july but i don't know if y'all air there a lot you know it just depends on where you live but you know shooting fireworks is always fun i love shooting fireworks even though i'd be scared i love it so much like the adrenaline that i get from it amazing i can't wait for fourth of july i don't know if i'm gonna shoot fireworks on july but like i can't wait because hopefully i do shoot for them shoot fireworks 46 have a mukbang you and your friends all become big bags and just get buku food like so much food like just get so much food and have a little mukbang with your friends y'all can be big back together we have gone to the museum you know it's nice calm and peaceful look at some artwork and it's air conditioned so like you don't gotta be in the heat either like it's a nice time i could get dressed up and like it depends on like your area but i'm pretty sure a lot of museums have different exhibits you could go to like exclusive exhibits to that museum because i know like over here we have like Kemba art and things like that and they have like different exhibits throughout the season so y'all should just go ahead and just check it out 48 we have build a bear you and your friends can go to build a bear and like make your own little child and then like each week y'all rotate the bear like like it's y'all child or something i feel like that's a cool idea or like just individually just get y'all own brutal bears but just going together and making a brutal bear i feel like you're never too like you're never too big to get a brutal bear it's just a bear like you know they feel like that's only for little kids but i feel like it's fun but now we have diy clothes like make your own t-shirts like you and your friends make matching t-shirts or like do your own jeans or like a lot of people are doing like the clogs with the denim i like that and then like they doing like the other clogs with like the patches so like it's so many diy things like diy clothing you can make that you can do out there so just look it up like on youtube or like tiktok or whatever and there's so many different types of clothing you can make t-shirts shorts jeans shoes accessories all types of things you can make the last but not least get a disposable camera like save these memories like anywhere you go outside or whatever like just take pictures with your friends take pictures in the moment just take pictures of yourself and like you can print them all out and then like make a little scrapbook or like a memory photo so you could look back and be like oh wow like this summer summer 24 we had such a good time so i feel like having a camera is something that's like you can cherish especially the disposable cameras like that's just something you can have and then when you go develop them and stuff it's just cool to look back on so those are all 50 of my bucket list ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.